Hi, today we're going to concentrate in this class soccer mania. Temper 6, the Hornets attack. They are who we have to play in, as he said, shocked. Dad, I mean coach. Those girls are giants. All 12 goblins were hurdled around Nancy's putter. Everyone, even Grace, looked worried. The other team was on the field. Practicing, they were black shorts and yellow jerseys. One girl was juggling a soccer ball with her feet. Another bounced a soccer ball from one knee to the other. They look like they're in middle school, said Bree. They're not. The Hornets are our league, Nancy's dad said. They're the same age you girls are. Did you say Hornets? Nancy gulped. Hornets were like bees. She pictured the swarm of them attacking her. Just because the hornets were big doesn't mean that they are fast. You girls are swift. Her dad looked over at Bree, Palmer, and the twins. Defenders, you have to stop the hornets and pass the ball to middle fielders. Middle fielders, you have to move the ball to the attackers so they can score. Understand? <coughs> then a footer went over what they had been doing at practice. He stopped when the Hornets coach came over and when the Hornets coach came over and mentioned to him. A moment later, Nancy's dad returned. Okay, there's the situation. The Hornets are short a player. Only eight girls showed up. Doesn't that mean they give up the game and we win? Alaska decided. Oh la la, Nancy fist bumped with Bree. Talk about an easy victory. Hold on, ladies. Think about it. How would you feel if if it was the other way around, then we were down a player. So here's what we're going to do. Nancy Dad explained that during each quarter, someone from the team would play for the Hornets. Play against the Goblins that's like fighting for the enemy, Wanda explained. Wait, maybe it's not much such a bad thing, Grace said Wanda. We can let them have Clara and Nancy. Nancy Dad didn't hear, because he was already halfway to the color. When he came back, he said, I have got 12 straws, one is short. Whoever picks it will start at a hornet. It turned out to be Nancy. Grace did a small fist pump. Thanks, girls. We are really appreciated, the other coach said and handed Nancy a yellow jersey. She pulled it on over her green one. I don't like you being the enemy, Clara said. Me too. Bree said Bree, me free, wearing a yellow jersey field all around to me. Long and hot. The game hadn't even started and already Nancy was perspiring. Au revoir, she said sadly to the goblins and joined the other team. The Hornets coach was named Mrs. Fonda. She told Nancy that she's be playing defense. When a car pulled to the stop, the back door opened. Lionel had arrived. When he found out why Nancy was wearing a yellow jersey, his fangs fell out of his mouth. What? You mean I'm here I can, and I can cheer for you? Can't cheer for you. It's only for ten minutes. Nancy's dad was sadly mistaken about the hornets. Not only they were big, they were speedy. The goblins won the coin to send... And chose to take the ball. But Yoko's first kick went straight to Hornet. After that, for almost the entry quarter, the soccer ball tailed, swinging, streaking distance of the governor's goal. Only once did a Hornet kick it out of bounds. After one, Tomer took a throw in and took the ball back toward Wanda. Hornet jumped in front of the ball, dribbled around Bree, and scored. Missy kept running around after the ball. But it was like she was invisible to the Hornets. They never passed to her. By the time the whistle blew and the car ended, the score was still 1-0. This is dripping wet. Sorry, she said, it. she said, handing over the soggy yellow jersey to Nala, who was playing next for the Hornets. This sat for most of the second quarter. That was fun with her. She and Lil did some cheers. When you're at, you're at, when you're in, you're in, they shouted to the crowd of parents sitting, sitting on the sidelines. And when or green goblin, you win, win, win. Tring then help almost right away. A hornet mid midfielder captured the ball from Grace and passed an open striker. Who took aim and scored. The score was now 2-0. Grace blinked and looked Bill wild. For the rest of the quarter, Grace's mother kept yelling, Grace, hold on more! And watch out for number eight.
You have got eyes. Use them. One time when Grace ran past, she said, Mom, stop, I'm trying my best. And the half Nancy that passed out water bottles and towels. Everyone sat on the grass and in the shade around them. The hornets are f though competition is really dull. I'm very proud of how you are staying scrappy and fighting for the ball. That's not easy on a hot day like this. Her dad made the team rest during halftime. Everyone lay on her back, Lionel too. He pretended to be dead. His tongue hung out of his eyes and were rolled back. Suddenly the white strode. Right before the third car, Grace's mom pulled Grace off to the side. Nancy couldn't help overhearing. No, Grace. They're not great, great players. Number three kicks widely, Grace's mother said, was saying. You, do you realize you missed the chance to score? You had the ball. Why on earth did you pass to Clara? She's the worst, she's the worst on the team. Look it, our coach wants us to pass to somebody who's wide open. Oh, really? Oh, really? Well, I bet he also wants you to win. And that's going, not going to happen. Now we're playing. Grace on and keep her eyes on the ground. During the second half, Nancy started out as a defender. But she switched to mid midfield after the same Hornets tricker got by her a few times. Nancy hated midfield. It means running back and forth without stopping. She's always behind a pack of players. If only she wasn't crushed with slow legs. At the end of the third quarter, Bree sneaks past the Hornets' defense. She dripped down the field. Nobody was over in covering Granda. Bree and Bree kicks off to one, one to her. It looked as if Ronda's kick was going left. So that's where the Hornets' goalie went. But the ball skidded to right and hit the net before the goal, goalie could grab it. A goal for the Goblins! Now the score was 2-1. Her dad was screaming woohoo! At the top of his lungs and high five little. During the fourth quarter, twice Grace jumped in front of Nancy and took the control of the ball. Grace was being a ball hog, but maybe she would be better another goal tie and score the score. Nancy watched Grace dribble the ball in the direction of the goblins. Go the field was pretty clear. Grace kept the ball under control and had it near the goal. You can nail it, Grace! Her mother yelled. All the goblin pawns were up on her feet, knee on cheering. Well, too. Grace kept dribbling toward the goal. One of the defenders were, hmm, were getting on her. She was still much too far away to score. She looked around. Brie was just in front and open. Grace passed to her. That was a mistake. A huge, again, enormous mistake. Brie was a hornet for the fourth quarter. A second to a Grace realized what she had done. Brie had no choice but to dribble the ball the other way down the field. She passed to an open hornet who slammed the ball to another girl in the yellow. Whoosh! The kick was high and hard. Nancy watched the soccer ball fly past Yoko, the goblin's goalie. It was a dream kick, exactly the kind Nancy was imagining doing. The score was now 3 1. And say that and wait until the ring blew by the final whistle. Game over. It was hard to tell who feels worse, Grace or Bree. I forgot Bree was a hornet. Even with a yellow shirt on, I forgot. I hate having the hornets win. Bree had a hand over her eyes and shook her head. They both kept saying sorry to the other goblins, even if Nancy's father said there was no need to apologize. Mistakes happen. That's sports, you guys were cooking the last quarter. We're talking one goal and some smart plays against a fierce team of high school girls. Wait, you said they were our age. My dad's joking to make us feel better. Nancy explained to Clara. And now, if my watch is correct, Nancy's water glass and these were the king's crown should be open for business. Two medium pieces later, everyone feels much better. Then we came to, he claimed that his water better was making him drunk. He kept ripping and falling off his chair until Nancy dad told him to call it. Nancy rolled a long string of metal cheese with her tongue. There was nothing like pizza to make you forget about the angel of the fiend. Bye!